I told you I'm not norm, all right? Some people come in one time, I don't see them no more. If you come in and stay, come every Sunday, I know where well, they're going to stay. They like the truth. They don't stay. I, oh, I got them. They ain't come back today. They, I, they got the truth. Amen. All right, that's angry. Now we're going to get forgiveness. All right, let's go Mark 11. 24 to 26. This is where Jesus is trying to get us to show us these traps that the enemy is using against us and calling us not to prosper. Not in, you know, in our soul, in our natural man, either one. Amen? Amen. I'm ready to prop all the way around. Amen? Amen. Okay. Mark 11, 24 through 26. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray. So when these things I desire when I pray. See, if I don't change, get all these things out of my way, my desire is not being fulfilled. We get angry with ourselves. We get angry with people. We get angry with God. But we got, that's an enemy. Amen. Amen. The enemy is keeping me from getting what I'm supposed to get. Amen. So when I pray what I should do, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. So I got to believe that I can have these things. And believing that I'm going to start making a change in my life. Amen. Okay, look at verse 25. And when ye stand praying, forgive. First thing he tell you when you stand and pray what? Forgive. So if I don't forgive, my prayer just going up to the wall and drop right back down Amen. in the ground. Amen. Because I ain't for what? Forgive. I ain't forgive. Okay, look what else it said. If ye have ought against any. So now that's another thing more to give me. If I got an ought against you, I still have my prayer going over here. Yeah. Up and down. Up and down. down. Alright. That your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. So I need to do this so the Father forgive my Amen. trespasses. Amen. Amen. Strange folk, you won't mercy, but you don't want to get nobody else no. Amen. 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 Now look at verse 26. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, Forgive your trespass. So if what Father said to you, if you don't, if I do you, you got to do me. Amen. If you can't forgive, I can't forgive you, then he ain't gonna forgive me. Amen. That's deep. That's deep, baby. Yes. So the father ain't gonna forgive you. See, folks need to tell folks the truth. Amen. So I'm gonna send him in the church 30, 40 years, meet as a rattlesnake. Right. <laughs> and they ain't got no forgiveness in their heart. No. And the father said, You don't you can't forgive, I ain't gonna forgive you. And say, I'm gonna have this day. And the Lord said, You ain't forgive. Y'all see that? Amen. That's the word. I didn't add to it, and I didn't take from it. Amen. All right? Amen. Okay, let's see what else he said. Let's go to Matthew 18, 25 through 35. Oh, my God, I thank you, Jesus. I'm going to get myself together. I'm taking off this mask. I saw, I saw, oh, my God, I see one. Twenty-four. Eight, Matthew eighteen. 20, Twenty-one through thirty-five. I'm sorry, I'm getting it over. Matthew eighteen, twenty-one through thirty-five. Look what Peter. Peter gonna tell us. Uh, Peter gonna ask a question, y'all. Peter. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Peter. All right, look what he said. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, mm -hmm. and I forgive him? Till seven times? Peter thought he only had to forgive him for seven times. Right. 
Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. I like where he's coming, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but, what, but? <laughs> unto seventy times seven. All right, that's all day and half the night. Exactly. All right, come on. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. So he taking the, the servant taking account of his servants. Amen. Now this is what God counted on us today. His servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him 10,000 talents. And you owe him all that money. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold and his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. They friend, he was going to put him in jail, going to put him in jail. And, and you know how I'm supposed to put you in jail. Don't want to give you a chance to get your stuff straightened out. Amen. But look what happened. Now, this is what the servant did. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him. Okay, I would, this is why I want you to get to keep up. Right here. Starting to change your life of being who you are. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him. If you begin to worship Jesus, <laughs> he'll begin to change his whole mental, spiritual attitude toward your life. Amen. Begin to worship him. He love a worshiper. Yes. He love folks that say, thank you, yes. I praise you, I worship you. You will see your circumstance and change. Yes. Instead of groaning about it, say, Lord, I thank you. Yes. Lord, I yes. praise yes. you, I worship yes. you. Yes. He said, above all, wherever stage you're in, he said, be what? Content. Yes. So I'm content, Lord. Thank you. I, I thank got you, a place to stay, Lord. Yes. It might not be where I want to be, but Lord, thank you. Yes. Come on. Yes. He began to he began to worship. So it began to change the king's heart. Alright, look what he did. Saying, Lord, have patience with me. So before he start asking him to have patience, have mercy on patience with him, he worshiped him first. Right. So but now we don't do that. We go at Jesus. We just give him that. We'll never say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you. <laughs> This is where he said, you need to start thanking him first. Mm -hmm. All right? He said, then he started telling him, Lord, have patience with me. And I will pay thee all. And he told him, I'll pay thee all. Okay, now look what the Lord King did. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion. His, he was moved with what? Compassion. compassion. So his whole frame of mind about the man changed. Right. Right. Amen. So the man had good faith. Amen. Favor with God, favor with man. Amen. Ooh, that your faith is. So you want faith there with you. <laughs> All right, get faith with him. You got faith with God. All right, come on. And loosed him and forgave him the debt. See, he loosed him and forgave him the debt. He ain't not paid the man the money back. Amen. He ain't not to pay nothing. His debt was paid. Amen. Amen. Now look what happened. But the same servant went out. And found one of his fellow servants. So the man with that same servant, that, like he wanted grace, he found somebody else that be doing the same thing he's doing, but he owed it. Mm -hmm. Alright, now look how his attitude reacted. Which owed him a hundred pence, and he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, <laughs> saying, Pay me that thou owes. Now, I'm going to show you that in my book, he didn't owe him before the four dollars. And he owed this man fifty-two thousand eight hundred. <laughs> Three. I, 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 I want to say four times more. This man owed him for forty-four dollars. That's what my book says. But he won't whip him over forty-four dollars. Come on, y'all. Now some of us are just like that. All right, then look what happened. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet mm -hmm. and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, 
And I will pay thee all. Then between this servant and he, the other servant, he worshiped God, but this man asked for patience. See, so the man's heart did not change. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hold it go. Amen. When you go to God with a sincere heart through worship, your, you change God's heart. Mm -hmm. But if you just go to God saying a whole lot of stuff, Amen. You hadn't touched his heart. Amen. You hadn't moved him. Mm. That's why sometimes you ain't got that because you, you show him, you want my stuff, but you don't want me. Mm. Come on, I, Amen. That's just like a man and a woman. Don't want the woman, but you want her stuff. Amen. You don't want the man, but you want his stuff. You want that check every week to come. Right. Let me give you a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth. Come on now. I don't want you, but I want them I want that hundred dollars every week. But you you come in here and give me my money and I may stroke your head three times. That's it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's all I need. That's all I need. <laughs> I don't. But went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. Now put the man in prison. Mm -hmm. But look what happened. Mm -hmm. What he wanted, didn't want to happen to him, it turned around. Mm -hmm. Look what happened. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry. Mm -hmm. And came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Mm -hmm. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O oh, thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt, because thou desirest me. Because he desired it. Okay, he did just what the man asked him. He desired that. He gave him the desire of his heart. Okay, look what happened. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? Should have. Yes. 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 Come on. And his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. Mm -hmm. So 